Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally filming my hospital bag. I know I have been procrastinating on everything. I am now 38 weeks and I believe four or five days. 38 weeks and five days. Um, so I'm really close to actually having my baby boy, which I'm really excited for. I like am so anxious, so haven't been putting any videos up because I've just been fixing the house, deep cleaning, putting the crib up, buying every last minute thing. It's been crazy. I haven't had time to rest, which is good, I guess, you know, doing a lot of walking, getting the baby moving and stuff. But anyway, it is my first time actually doing a hospital bag with my first, I was a teen mom. Um, I was 17, so I really didn't know how to do a hospital bag or even thought about doing a hospital bag so I never did one when I when I had my son um my mom pretty much just brought clothes like on the day that I was gonna leave she just brought my clothes and I showered and that was it the rest of the time I pretty much wore my robe the hospital robe and the baby was in like the blankets that they give wraps so I didn't have anything then and so that is why I did a hospital bag, but it's a minimalist hospital bag because I just packed the things that I think I will need, not like extra stuff that I know the hospital already provides. So my bag isn't anything fancy. It's just this backpack, duffel bag thing um, that my work gave us for like employee appreciation day. Um, so it's nothing fancy, nothing cute, just something that fits all the things I'm taking. So yeah, if you guys want to see what's in my hospital bag and the baby's hospital bag, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I am taking but isn't packed are my ID, hospital, like paperwork, and insurance card. Those are all in my wallet, so once we leave to the hospital, I'll just grab my wallet and take that with me. The next thing is cell phones, cell phone chargers camera and camera chargers that I am not taking until the day we leave because like I said I'm using the camera right now charger cell phones and cell phone chargers so that is the other thing that I am gonna take as I am leaving to the hospital um and I do have the list so I am gonna just peek through it before I leave to the hospital to make sure I don't forget anything these are so ugly I know they're old but I don't want to take my new ones to the hospital where people are sick and you know germs and things like that so I'm just taking these old slippers um, to just walk around and be comfortable in instead of wearing because um, my hospital gave us socks that had like grip under um, so I'd rather wear my slippers be comfortable than wearing those socks it's like a long sleeve shirt and this I just bought at Walmart it was on sale for only seven dollars so this just instead of wearing the robe and stuff probably gonna change it into this um the only thing I didn't think of when I bought it was button down so I can breastfeed my baby but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like the only one there my husband maybe my mom and dad so I'm like it's okay if I have to lift up the shirt or pull it down it's just like a shirt that I bought t-shirt sleeping shirt and I bought two of these because they were so cheap I bought one to keep home so I don't know which one I'm gonna wear but I bought these two seven dollars each at Walmart you don't need anything fancy so the next thing that I thought was really important actually were nursing bras and this one's I bought at Burlington Coat Factory. This one's just like a sleeping bra. Nothing special, no padding or anything. Just, you know, something comfortable to wear during the night. I think I'm just going to wear this one. But I'm taking the other one that's padded. It's padded but not wired. Um, just in case I want to use it where, like leaving the hospital. Um, this padded one was only $7.99 at Burlington, which is really cheap. And the like sleeping one, not padded, was $6.99. So nursing bras is a plus if you are going to be breastfeeding. Since I am going to be breastfeeding, I am taking these that I got in like sample box. Um, 
these are like the breast pads in case I do like my milk does come in and I start like leaking I have had like some leaking during my pregnancy so I am taking these just in case so I can wear with my nursing bras so and these are the l l not even gonna try and say it it's just this brand Thing that I am taking is this lanolin balm just you know for your nipples they do get sore from breastfeeding and stuff so that's one thing I'm taking mine's just like a cheap brand parents choice from Walmart but I'm pretty sure any brand works the next thing that I'm taking are some socks obviously um, so I can wear there because hospitals clinics I work at a clinic they're all cold they keep the air super cold um, so I know it's gonna be cold, so I'm taking socks. They're just normal socks, not like the fuzzy socks. I cannot wear those. They like slip off my sh like feet and stuff. So just normal socks. I'm taking two pairs, one to wear at the hospital, the other one just to wear out of the hospital. Is obviously your going home outfit. Um, I'm just taking this old kind of loose t-shirt that I had prior to pregnancy just loose big t-shirt before getting pregnant i only wore like bigger clothes and that is because i wasn't comfortable with my body so i'm really glad i have a lot of loose clothes like this shirt still fits me so i'm really glad i have a lot of like loose clothing and some black sweatpants i had to buy these because i didn't have any black ones and you're gonna get out of the hospital bleeding a lot so you don't want to go out with like a white sweatpant or anything like that where you could possibly stain it so that is the reason why I'm just taking a black pair of sweats and I bought these at Ross for $8.99 so I am not spending a lot on buying like cute going home outfit or anything like that just big loose t-shirt and some sweatpants and then I do have another like outfit it's these sweatpants that i got from tar uh not target walmart they were on sale they were five dollars but they're the sleepwear but they're pretty much like sweatpants so got this with this shirt again it's just a loose shirt so i don't know which one i'm gonna wear i'm taking two of each like pjs and going home outfit just in case next is underwear granny underwear um when i was at the hospital from what i remember they gave you some like mesh underwear kind of like diapers um just because you know you're bleeding a lot so i'm gonna wear those during the hospital but when i leave i bought these like granny underwear at ross for 349 and it came with three of them so this is what i'm gonna wear after and some old ones that i have but at the hospital, I for sure will be wearing the little mesh diaper underwear. So like I said um, at the beginning of the video, with my son, I only showered and changed there with my going home outfit. So this time I am going to shower as well. So I am bringing my little hair towel just so it won't be all wet on my shirt or anything like that and a towel an old towel i just borrowed this from my mom because she has a lot of towels and this one's just an old one that she has so towels because you i mean you delivered a baby all the fluid blood and everything is just all over you so i personally would shower just because everything's all nasty you know and the next thing are these um belly bands i'm taking two for now um, I am going to buy one after I deliver to see just like a waist trainer just to see how big my waist is and you know actually fit in it not just guesstimate right now but I am taking these that I've had previously I don't remember where I got them from but they just like wrap around and this one zips up to has like three sizes or four so you can adjust it to where you need it and then this one the one that my mom had when she delivered me she still has it so you just like wrap it around so I don't know which one I'm gonna wear Mo maybe this one or this one just depends which one's a little tight to keep everything secure so belly bands waist trainer whatever you prefer I'm taking that just because with my son 
I did not listen to my mom and I feel like everything stayed all loose. My belly after that, I had a pooch. Obviously, I mean, you, I probably gained weight, but it was like loose. It wasn't like a tight stomach. It was just loose. So this time I'm gonna listen and wear a belly band or waist trainer, whatever you prefer. Since I am gonna shower in the hospital, I am obviously going to take some flip-flops. I don't have those with me right now, but I'm wearing some flip-flops because you don't want to step on that nasty ground. You don't know what's been there and who's showered there and things like that. So flip-flops just to shower with or to even walk around the hospital with. But I'm taking a loofah just because that's what I like shower with. That's what I like wash my body with and some soap. The soap that I just use is the Dove Sensitive Skin. It's just like the bar of soap. And I'm taking this little plastic container to put it in after. Um, obviously in here I have shampoo for my husband just in case he wants to shower there. He said he wasn't. He was just going to come home and shower. But in case he wants to shower, I'm taking a shampoo for him. Just this little plastic container from Walmart. Um... I got toothbrushes. These are just the ones that we've gotten like at dentists. And I'm taking little toothbrush carriers for after we open them. So we can put them away in. Then floss. I cannot go a day without flossing. So floss is a must for me. As well as mouthwash and once again this is just the little one that the dentist gives you so it's just like a little travel size so yeah and then obviously I'm showering there so I'm taking shampoo then in this little blue container I have conditioner this shampoo is the one I got in a boxycharm um, monthly box I don't know how it works but since it's like travel size and stuff already I just decided to bring this one along so shampoo and conditioner toothpaste obviously to brush your teeth with then I bought a face scrub face wash just in case I want to wash my face you know so face wash this one I just bought in like the travel area it's not the one I use but hey it's a little travel mini I wasn't going to buy a big old thing to take to the hospital. So face wash. And then Q-tips. Just to um, clean my ears out. That's what I use Q-tips for. Um, after I shower. So yeah. And that all just fit in this little toiletry bag. The next thing is makeup. And a hairbrush. I haven't packed the hairbrush because that's the one I use. So I'm not going to pack that until we leave. But I am also taking makeup. I'm not sure I'm going to do makeup because, to be honest, you don't want to be... I mean, you want to be comfortable, resting, relaxing. And you're just at the hospital. You just delivered a baby. You're not going to need to be all dolled up unless you want to. And no offense to that. If you really want to wear makeup, go right ahead. It's personal preference. Um, me, I just feel like I don't want to be, you know, all full of makeup. Um, even though I love makeup, but at the hospital, I'd just rather be relaxing. But in case if I do want to wear makeup, I just have this little small makeup bag. Well, not that small, right? Um, that just has the makeup that I'm taking. Just in case, simple makeup. I'm just taking eyelash curler and mascara, some like old mascaras that I had. Another mascara because I don't know which one I want to use. And I usually like use like two, three mascaras at a time when I do my eyelashes. A little mirror to do my makeup in or with. And then a broken brush. But I use this for blush like on an everyday basis, like makeup for work and things like that. My blush, that's again old, don't judge. Um, and this is from Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And another broken brush. This is an e.l.f. powder brush. I use that to apply my foundation to like buff it in and stuff. So my foundation brush, powder brush, and this is just from Wet n Wild. Powder, just face powder, because I'm an oily person, so I have to set my foundation. So face powder foundation and 
and primer and then just this little brush I forgot what it's called but just to you know blend in all my foundation powder um, blush just so everything won't be over the top you know so that is what I'm taking for my makeup another thing that I know is going to be a must is um, lip balm chapstick or whatever you use I personally like using Vaseline the lip therapies um, they just really work and they like if you had cha like chapped lips one day the next day they're perfect I love this thing so I know you're gonna need this just because from all the pushing and stuff your mouth gets dry you're not able to drink water and things like that so lip balm for sure the next thing that I'm taking are some like ponytail holders and a headband I just have it like this just so I won't lose the um, ponytail holders and things like that the next thing I'm taking is this Sit Tie Intense XS Super Special Super Strength Body Firming Serum. And it is from Soap and Glory. And I am just taking this. I don't know if I'm going to wear it or not. Just because I don't like the tingly, cooling sensation it gives. But I am thinking of wearing this under my belly band as soon as I deliver. Just so everything can kind of firm up and stuff. The next thing that you're going to need for sure when you're leaving the hospital or if you're going to not wear the hospital diapers are pads. I'm just taking like three just for when I leave the hospital. And these are just the always extra long ones. I like the thin ones even though I know I'm going to be bleeding a lot. But I like the thin ones just because I don't like feeling like the big pad on your underwear. So I'm, mine are just the thin ones extra long though. I'm just taking some just for after the hospital, but you will be needing a lot of these throughout your six week postpartum period. The next thing I'm taking is deodorant. Obviously, you don't want smelly armpits. So deodorant is a must just after I shower or while I'm there, you know, I don't want to be stinky. Okay, the other things that are, are in my hospital bag are my husband's stuff and since he's just going to be going like in and out because we do have another child, um, I have some like minimal things for him. Deodorant, just so he can put on. I don't know if he's going to shower there at the hospital or not. But I, like I said, I did take some shampoo for him and then deodorant. Some socks for him. Some shorts. Undies, obviously. And just a t-shirt um, just so he can be comfortable um, he is gonna be going in and out of the hospital just with my son so he could just come home change he's not taking PJs even though he's sleeping there um, just cuz he's pro we're probably gonna go in comfortable clothes he's probably gonna take some other shorts and a t-shirt and that's usually what he sleeps in um, the one thing that is not here but I am taking is a blanket and a pillow for him just so he can sleep there okay and now for the baby I just am taking this bond design diaper bag that I bought I kept seeing these and I fell in love with them so I really wanted to buy one so that is my hospital bag I am not taking a lot just his um going home outfit and some wipes just because the hospital my hospital provided pretty much everything there and I want to take my like diaper bag empty just so I can bring like the stuff that the hospital provides like the diapers um bottles little shirts I don't know they just provide a lot of stuff so I want to bring everything they provide just with me I'm gonna take it home that's what I did last time just take it home like they give it to you they charge for it so you might as well take it home so my diaper bag's pretty much empty just so I can put the things that I'm going to bring home with me. Um, the first thing, like I said, is this changing pad and some wipes just in case he does decide to like have an accident. I am taking his little swaddle blanket and it's just cute little elephant teal white blanket. 
And then his going home outfit, I am matching it with my son just so he can like feel involved as well. So I am taking some little gloves for him just because their nails are really like thin and sharp. So I don't want him to be scratching himself right away. So some little mittens. And then these little jean leggings that I bought at Carter's. little undershirt some little sockies to match just like a little towel burp cloth and his little shirt it's a super cool little bro and my son is gonna wear one that's a super cool big bro just so they can match you know so that is what I'm taking for my son Oh, and then this thing that came with those little burp cloths. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to give it to the baby. And I believe that's all I'm taking for the baby. Oh, just kidding. And some Desitin little bag that I have. So, yeah, guys, that is all that I'm taking. I know it probably seems like a lot, but honestly, it's the minimal things. Just because from other videos that I've seen or from what people tell me they use, it is like double or triple as much. And you're not going to need that much things. I've already experienced it. Now I'm taking more than last time, but that's just because I want to be more comfortable and I know what I'm getting myself into. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got an idea of what you should take to your hospital um, when you deliver. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to comment that below. And yeah, stay tuned for my next videos. Thanks!